Welcome back. Today we are learning about section 2.6, linear inequalities in two variables. So we already graphed linear inequalities in one variable, which is what you have on a number line. So if we've got two variables, that means that we have to have two directions, left and right, and up and down, which is just a regular coordinate plane with an x-axis and a y-axis. Alright, an ordered pair is the solution of a linear inequality if it makes the inequality true when substituted into the inequality, um, and it's a part of the graph of the inequality. So basically to check if it's a solution we're just gonna plug it in and see if it works. Alright so for our first thing we have they give us two different points and they want us to check to make sure that they are solutions for that inequality. So remember x is first and then y, x and then y. Alright so let's check the first one. So we've got 4 and then instead of x I'm gonna write 3 minus 2 and instead of y, I write 3, is greater than or equal to 8. So 4 times 3 is 12, 2 times 3 is 6, is greater than or equal to 8. So 12 minus 6 is going to be 6, is greater than or equal to 8. And that is going to be false, because 8 is bigger than 6. So that's not a solution. So let's write no solution. Alright. Or how about not solution? That makes it sound a little bit better. 3, 3 is not a solution. Alright, same thing over here. So we do 4 times negative 2 minus 2 times negative 9. So that's x and that's y. Is greater than or equal to 8. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Negative 2 times negative 9 is positive 18. So pay attention to your sign there. Should be a plus. Negative times a negative. Alright, is greater than 8. Negative 8 and positive 18 gives us a 10. So 10 is greater than 8. That is true, so that means that yes, this is a solution. Or you could just write solution. You don't have to write yes. Alright, so now the next thing we're going to do is take this knowledge and test a whole bunch of points. Everywhere you see a circle, you have to test that to see if it's true. So they don't give us an inequality next to the graph, so we have to look down below it. And see there's like that little paragraph there. Alright, so in that paragraph, they tell us an inequality. So it says for the above scatter plot, test each circled point to see if it is a solution of the inequality x plus y is less than or equal to 1. So that's the inequality we want to use. If it's a solution, color it one of your pencil colors. So you're going to need two different colored pencils for this. So if you don't have them, go get them now. Alright, so if it's a solution, color it one color. If it's not a solution, color it another. Alright, and now we're going to stop right there. So let's go back and do those. We're going to have to test each point. And remember it was x plus y is less than or equal to 1. So I'm going to show you how to do a couple of them, and then I'll just fill in the rest of the dots. If you want to test them on your own, you can. Alright, so like, let's start with this circle right here. So this circle is negative 4 is the x value, so it's negative 4 plus, and then my y is positive 4 is less than or equal to 1. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0 is less than or equal to 1. So that is a solution. So because it's a solution, I'm going to color it purple. Alright, so there's my nice purple dot to remind me that that was a solution. So let's go over and do the next one now. So my x value, I'm still using this inequality, so my x value is negative 2 plus, and then my y value is still 4 because it's on that same horizontal line, it is less than or equal to 1. Negative 2 plus 4 gives me a positive 2 is less than or equal to 1. That is not true. So this time I'm going to use a different color and I'll use red. Alright, and so we're just going to keep checking those dots until we get um, all of them filled in the correct way. So I'm going to go ahead and fill these in real quick, and I'll be right 